All right, we're live. Uh, happy thir Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Everybody, uh, thank you so much for coming. This is uh, a big day over here. In just an hour, actually exactly an hour now, uh, the Marvel Art of David Finch Kickstarter closes. We are at 183,000 with, hold on, 1,598 backers. Um, I can't believe we got here. I, I can't believe it, it did so well. I'm stunned. So, and we couldn't have done it obviously without you guys. Uh, I just saw a comment. I'm going to never find it now. I see Lance is here. JDSCT is here. Kevin's here. Larry's here. Supersonico. I'm never going to find it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody again so much for coming. Also, uh we're celebrating 450,000 subscribers for the channel uh eric so you know it's a big deal for for both of us i mean Jeez. both of us have put so much work into making this channel what it is uh eric uh you see eric you know for streams all the time and like right now um but he does so much work also just behind the scenes for the channel um i couldn't do it without him so uh yeah uh thank you. I mean, it's all me that did it, so you're welcome. And Jason, right? And you know, and really, considering I'm saying thank yous right now, <laughs> we're talking about the the Kickstarter. I certainly could not have done that without Jason and his crew. Uh, they really put everything together, all the great graphics and the videos and all the stuff. It just turned out beautifully. And none of this stuff is is anything that I would ever be able to do on my own. Part of it's being busy, and most of it's just not having the ability. So uh, it's good to have you know, an incredible team uh, with, with both you guys. And thank you very, very much. No, my pleasure. It's <clears> going to be a great book and a good part of project. So I'm excited to get it to the press and then get you up here to sign everything and get it out of my garage. So that will be the fun part. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we, this is our second one. So you guys know we actually follow through on these too. And the book is done. That helps. The last one was too. So they all went out well. I think there were a couple of stragglers. I have found, because I've done a few Kickstarters, Meredith did a few, my wife, you know, Meredith. Um, there are always, we do our absolute best to make sure that it doesn't happen, it happens. And uh, so, you know, I apologize for the ones that that did have to wait longer than we'd like last time. It was only a few, but the, they were out there and uh, hopefully that won't happen. This it, It'll happen. It, it's inevitable, but, you know, Jason is there and he's right on top of it. So if there is any problem and that does happen, just know that you uh, can just contact Jason over at Essential Sequential and he'll sort it out right away. So we have a super chat from Anthony G for $10. He says, congratulations on 450K and what is sure to be another awesome book. Thank you so much, Anthony. Anthony's been here from the beginning. Um, it really, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. When I did the first live stream, uh, I had no idea what to expect. And so many of you that were here in the beginning are, are here still, and uh, you've been with us, you know, the whole time, and it's just been a, an incredible journey um, for all of us. So, uh, and y y there have been times I thought I'm so busy with work, like, and I, I am always, you know, so busy. Like, can I continue to do it? And every time I kind of back away, I think I, I can't. I I can't leave it. It just means too much to me at this point. So. We're gonna go down kicking and screaming with this channel. One day we won't be able to, you know, I'll be, I'll be seventy. I'll have to stop. But until then, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, what's your, you, what's your favorite part? What's your favorite part of the of doing this? Uh, uh, the live streams, I would say. Yeah, okay, you know what? It's I, I'm gonna say my favorite part is is our community, the Finch Flock community, which we have here, and. Um, it's just, it's such a great community. It's such a healthy community. You guys are all so good to each other uh, that I, I really, really enjoy a lot. Um, and then really my other favorite part is just being able to to have artists like uh, Greg Staples, who we had on. Did you guys miss that one? I think most of you guys saw it. But if you did miss it, go check that one out. It was amazing. Uh, we had Mike Matassi uh, last week, uh, an absolutely incredible masterclass in uh, theory behind Folds and just so many other incredible guests. Uh, Ariel Olivetti, was he our first guest? I think he was. And uh, I believe so. And what a way to start. I mean, that was incredible. You know, still one I, I just look back on really fondly. So uh, uh, that is something I'm looking forward to doing more and more in the future. We had one. We had Klaus Jansen on Monday. You guys didn't miss it. We had to cancel. So uh, we're rescheduling with him right now. We, we were looking at the 29th. 
We can't do that, Eric and I, because we're going to be at uh, something else I wanted to talk about, and that is the convention. OAX. Oh, OAX. 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 X. OAX. <laughs> I can't take me anywhere. Uh, Expo. We're going to be there in uh, in Florida at the end of the month. So we won't be able to do then. So it might be just a little bit after that. Um, but I'm looking forward to that one, too. It's going to be amazing once we can get that one rescheduled. So um, Who, who's been your favorite guest? So I, here's the thing I can't say. It's like saying, who's your favorite writer? <laughs> you know, because I have favorites. But then when you say that, anybody else you worked with? looks at you and goes, because I've done this. I've worked with writers that have said, oh, my favorite artist I've ever worked with. And it's not me. And I'm like, oh, what? you know, just lie. Just, you know, don't do that to me. I know I wasn't your favorite, but it hurts. So I, I don't say that. This feels like it's, you know, but I, I mean, I've had some great ones. It would be hard to choose. Even if I was just going to say a name right now, it would be very difficult to choose. Who, who's the worst one? <laughs> <laughs> See, again. <laughs> don't get trouble. <laughs> All right. On that note, um, we're. I want. Yeah, I want to start. We're going to be doing some sketches. The Kickstarter finishes at eight thirty. We're not going to just finish directly at eight thirty, though. We'll keep going for a little bit more. We're also doing a giveaway because this is our four hundred and fifty thousandth. Can't pronounce it. Uh, subscriber uh, giveaway. So we'll we'll be doing that for just a little bit longer. Also, but before I start, I really want to do. Uh, book of the week because i haven't done one for a while and i just I, i've been going to the comic store every wednesday with my son uh, which has been great you know uh, and i just picked this one up so i want to show you guys so there's no clean way for me to do this i'm just going to grab my camera i'm going to shift it and you guys <laughs> bear with me just a minute i guess i could shift it over to you, to you eric but i'm not going to bother okay hold on we, we can solo lay out you then uh, well in just a second but let me at least set the camera out and I missed a couple of super chats. Let me just run back in a second here. Shoot. Do you want me to? Do you want us to read the super chats while you? Sure. Here? Eric, do you want to? Yeah, sure. Let me get to the chat real quick. I just, I don't want to step on toes. I, you know. I'm oh, that's all right. No, you're you're more than welcome to. Um, so we got Anthony G. Do we get SCS powerlifting? We did not. SCS also a staple on the channel. He says, uh, congrats on the new book and can't wait for it to come out. What up, Flock? Good to see you, SES. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, Rebellious. Yes, yes, yes. As always, and thank you. Yeah. Uh, Rebellious Monkey says, hey there, David. I like your work. And as an aspiring artist myself, I would be happy to show you my portfolio and give give me some feedback on my art if you ever come to Silicon in San Jose one day. Silicon is, you know, I've never been. I love California. Uh, I mean, you know. Uh, it's beautiful there, and there are no mosquitoes, so you know I'd, I'd love to go. And we have a super chat from Jim Klein for twenty dollars. Thank you again so much, Jim. Uh, and he says, "Congratulations on hitting four hundred fifty k and on the book. Can't wait to see what's in store for the channel. The stream with Mike Matessi was awesome. I'm also looking forward to seeing the remark I picked up for the new book. Well, I hope you like it. And thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. All right, book of the week. Hang on. Here we go. So this one." Is, uh, is by Nick Klein. And um, I feel like I've been living under a bit of a rock because I, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, I've heard of Nick Klein, but I really wasn't familiar with his work. And this is the problem of me just not going to the comic store enough. You know what? My camera's a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to shift it, and I always shift it the wrong way. That's pretty rad. It's incredible. I mean, I, yeah, I couldn't believe how amazing this stuff is. Like, I'm just blown away. He's my absolute favorite right now. Like, it's just, and this is the kind of stuff I love. I mean, look at this. Look at that skull right there. It's great. And not only is he great at, you know, obviously, like, the really big, great creatures in action, but he's also just a great storyteller. There's, there's a figure in here. I mean, there are so many, but there was one that it's a, a woman, and just the way she's standing, just, you know, it was such a touching shot. And that's such a difficult thing as an artist to capture. And that's aside from from this. I mean, this is really what you know gets me through the door. And it, this is what made me pick it up off the rack. Actually, it was the cover. I picked it up. I, and I know not to buy a book based on the cover anymore. I've learned my lesson. I love the cover so much. I still picked it up and looked at it. And I couldn't believe that the same artist that did the cover did the interior. Like, it just, I mean, books like this just shouldn't happen. Like, look at this. It's crazy. I don't even have anything smart to say about it. <laughs> 
I never do, but yeah. And just the lighting that he does on the faces. I mean, this is very, very complex lighting. It's it's a down light, but he's still got some project light up from below. Uh, it's a difficult thing to, to pull off. And he does it amazingly well with his anatomy too. Like this is all uplit. Something I avoid like the plague because it is so, so hard to do. Just beautifully done. That's the figure I was talking about. I mean, look at that. And when you can mix that with with being able to draw that kind of thing, I, I just think it's pretty magical. And also, and also, they're bringing Night Thrasher back. I saw, yeah, I saw a picture of him. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. I mean, that is such a great shot, you know. So yeah, I don't know how Nick, how long Nick Klein will be doing uh, interiors, you know, because it just seems like so many people stop, uh, and not that I can judge, but I'm uh, cherishing every minute that he's going to keep doing it. Now I need to go back and find all of his previous issues because yeah, this is what I get for just not going to the comic store for too long. Missing out on stuff like this. I'm sure most of you guys are aware just how great he is. So there you go. That's a book of the week. I wanted to bring it back just specially just so I could talk about this book because I thought it was amazing. Awesome stuff. All right. There's a super chat, by the way. Oh, okay. From uh, T20's Grunt. You're a comic book artist, but do you, all of you have any comic books you'd like to do an illustrated version of? Uh, the first Law series, Kings of the Wild? Question mark. The first Law series, Kings of the Wild. I'm not familiar with those. Uh... Neither am I. I'll have to. I'll have to take a look. And you know what? I I need um, I need recommendations too, to be honest, because I go to the comic store and there are just a million books there, and I don't know what to pick. Uh, I have no idea where to start half the time. 90% of the time. It would, uh, it would be fun to do like Legend of Dressed or something. Anything, uh, Forgotten Realms or something. For the sketch? No, uh, his, his question regarding, you know, you know, while you're a comic book artist, is there any like uh, book that you'd like to illus illustrate? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, that would be pretty, uh, that would be right up my alley for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sad Dignus says, pretty cool. I see a bit of Keon in his art. Yeah, for sure. And Tom Teacher says, Night Thrasher, that takes me back. Yeah, I mean, Night Thrasher is, he was he was around kind of when when I started. This is, you know, more than 30 years ago when I first started drawing. All right. So what am I drawing? <clears throat> what are you drawing? You know what? Let's do Hulk. Okay. We were just looking at some Hulk. I'm going to try and up, uh, uplate it too. So let's see how this goes. jump out of my box a little bit. It's not like I've never uplit anything. Like I said, I just avoid it because it's tougher. It really is. And when you see an artist in every shot use like a complex two, like this has uh, two light sources done really consistently and well. I mean, you know, it's just not common. You don't see it much. I have uh, some prints as well, if you'd like to give away uh, some Batman prints. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here. Hold on. It's not what I I'm wanted to do. Ice mode. Or heater mode. Oh, great. Okay. There's a Batman Catwoman. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting confused with buttons. Nice. All right. So, Eric, if you want to do a giveaway for that one. Yeah, um, sure. Um, yeah, just a reminder for everyone. And if you haven't been here before, if you want to be eligible to win, just uh, be active in the chat. Uh, Night, Nightbot picks a random winner of those active in the last five minutes. And then for any winners tonight, just check the pinned message at the top. Uh, e email me uh, your name, the piece you won, and your address. And then um, I'll get everything sent off to Jason, and then uh, you'll receive your, your uh, piece. Yeah, so, I, I was able to get to uh, FedEx the next day after the last one. Uh, and the minute they get to Jason, they're out right away. Like yeah. he's, I'm never on the ball. Jason always is. So uh, the fact that I got him out right away, that was that's always the biggest thing. So I'll make sure to do that again. I'll get them to Jason right away. So if you win any of this stuff, you know, print or, or sketch or whatever it is, actually a print, you're guaranteed Jason already has it. <laughs> so yeah, those, just, those go out pretty quickly. Yes. Uh, but we do leave early. Uh, 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 in our, we have a short week next week with uh, the convention. So uh, and we're getting some more snow tomorrow, I'm told. So it might be a little bit difficult to get stuff out until next week. But uh, Yeah, well, we've been out doing the horses. And um, 
it has been so cold. The, the hoses have been freezing. We've got a uh, heater on the taps. We've got like everything, a lot of precautions. Um, it, it's We could, haven't been able, able to let the dogs out to play. Uh, it's been a nightmare. So How, how do the uh, horses stay warm? We bring them in at night when it gets cold like this. Just into the barn, yeah. Yeah. Not into the yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, not to the house. Hold on. All right, you want me to go ahead and roll for the print? How many guys you have in the... Uh... We have 110 eligible users. Sure, we can get that higher. We can get everyone active in the chat. It's uh, autographed by Mr. Dave. There's 386 people watching, so... Oh. Uh, so, all you got to do is give a little chat. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Go ahead and roll it. Uh, Robert Tweedy. Congratulations, Robert. Robert. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Awesome. So we have our first winner. You know, I, I've been doing this for how long, uh, Eric? It's been years using uh, um, StreamYard. Uh -huh. And I just last week realized that up in the corner, you can see how many people are watching live. I didn't know that either. <laughs> it does say that? It does. It says 386. Can you see it? No. 380. We lost six people. Come back. Uh, interesting. <clears throat> uh, there's another super chat from Seth Gibbs asking, if you decided to do another story arc, what character slash series would be your choice? Um, you know, it's it's so difficult. I'd love to do something uh, with, with Daredevil. I don't know that the thing is, Daredevil's a smart book, which is great, and I love that. But I like to draw more of an, you know, I want to draw some action all the time, and I don't want to draw courtrooms. And that's kind of my big fear with Daredevil is I'd be drawing a lot of courtroom scenes. I kind of think it'd be worth it, though. I've never done it. I'd love to do it. Um, obviously, Spider-Man. Uh, I'd, I'd love to get a chance Night to do a, a run. Night, Night Thrasher? Night Thra you know what? Night Thrash would be a lot of fun. Actually, that'd be a blast. You know another character that I really like? Vigilante. Remember Vigilante? Well, he's made a... Did you watch um, Peacemaker? No, and I've, I need to. I've heard all kinds of stuff about it. I've heard it's really good. And he, uh, Vigilante makes uh, an appearance in that. It's, it's awesome. James yeah. Gunn. Actually, I saw the costume, which looked great. So, yeah. Vigilante would be a cool character. It'd be cool to you know take a character that I mean, is cool, but hasn't really had as much exposure. The nice thing about doing a character that, that people are not really as familiar with is you have a little bit more freedom to um, try things. And I know that's a scary sounding thing. <laughs> you know, uh, nobody wants somebody to come in and, you know, just uh, supplant the character and make it their own thing. And that's not what I mean. I mean, you can take more risks. It can be a little bit maybe more graphic. It can be... Uh, a little bit more risky, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm you know I, well, I was talking to Dave Johnson about something similar because <clears throat> for a while he was doing the Deadpool co uh, covers and he loved doing them because the editors there were just like, hey, you know, do what you want. Yeah. It's Deadpool. So there's not, you know, much you couldn't do with the character. Yeah. I really, I felt like that about Moon Knight. My um, idea, what I really wanted to do with Moon Knight was I love Stephen Plott's Moon Knight and I love, uh, obviously, uh, Bill Sinkavage's Moon Knight. And um, I don't know. I'm going to draw a blank on my biggest Moon Knight influence. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, I'll think of it in a second. What's that? Well, who, else was who else was there? Sinkevich, uh, Platt. Who were the other big Moon Knight? You know, artists? this is a problem. I can actually see his name right now. You know what I mean? It might, like, I'm so, I just, I'm so bad with names. It's a good thing we have the internet. He did a mini series. And the way that I did the cowl is totally taken from him. He's an incredible artist. Like uh, Don Perlin? Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. And not Tex? Not Tex. Who's awesome? Mm -hmm. okay. Where are you? Is it an older, older gentleman? Uh, well, he'd be older now because the run was, you know, uh, like around 2001, probably, you know, maybe even in the 90s. I'm not actually 100% sure. 
Shoot. I'll get it. Who was the best Moon Knight artist on Reddit? <laughs> David Finch. There we go. Uh, Greg Smallwood. Some Kevin I don't know. Hmm. Greg Smallwood. It wasn't a run. It was just a mini series, and it, it, I don't know that it. Like the name just popped into my head again, and I'm like, I just I can't get it to. Uh, do, do, do. One of these days, I'm gonna go completely uh, senile, and I'll never be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Tommy Lee Edwards. Tommy, uh, did Tommy do Tom uh, Moon Knight? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's it's not really well known work from him, so trying to find it be difficult if you're you know just looking at artists that have done moon knight oh yeah tommy's amazing yeah he's incredible and uh, just he did such cool stuff with the cowl so really influenced been, by that i've been bugging him to do a uh electric mayhem commission for me for the last few years has he agreed no well he hasn't had time he did he did a magnum pi one for another collector uh, which was the last one he did and all of his stuff is just beautiful so hopefully mm -hmm. down the road. Hopefully. Mm -mm. Kevin Mandevil says he did volume three. Assuming, Kevin, you were talking about Tommy Lee Edwards. I kind of yeah. just glanced up. We have a super chat from Titus Illustrations for $10. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. He says, hey, Dave and the flock. I'm a longtime fan of the channel, and this is my first super chat. Thank you for being an inspiration for me and my dreams of becoming an artist, and can't wait to see the new book. Well, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it, and thank you for coming by. I don't miss uh, Adam also. Adam Meyer says, Happy New Year, everyone, and congratulations. Oh, hey. Adam Meyer. There you go. Happy New Year. If, if we don't see Adam since the New Year, maybe not. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, good to see you back. And thank you. Let's see. I've been refreshing the uh, Kickstarter every three minutes like a crazy person. <laughs> uh, but we went over it's 1,607 backers now. So that's that's great. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't know if I, I, I didn't mention here anyway, but there is actually another cover. Um, I got a bit. I, I feel guilty saying this because if somebody already bought it, I, I don't want to be like, "Hey, buy another one now." I, I don't, you know. But yeah, there is another cover. Um, it's a Spider-Man painting that I, I did uh, just about two months ago. So, um, and that's a hardcover. After the Kickstarter ends, you still can get the book, just not in hardcover. So this will be the last chance to get the the hardcover version. Yes, we'll be making soft covers for conventions and for other retailers. And I'll tell you why we do soft covers. Because hard covers are so much to ship. <laughs> They're like bringing it back. Like Jason is always, you know, bringing uh, books to like the the um, uh, Monday Night Draw season one book. Those are all hardcover and bring those to conventions. It's a job. So so we're doing soft covers at conventions. Ryan five five oh six is David Finch, my absolute favorite artist of all time. You first inspired me to pick up the pencil. Thank you, rock on forever. Oh, thank you so much, Ryan. Really appreciate it. And uh, Dan Genovese, Genovese, I believe. Uh, congratulations on four hundred fifty k subscribers. It's very well deserved. It sure is. Absolutely. Do they send you like a plaque or something for each hundred thousand you get? Or you know, is there any? I uh, I've never gotten a plaque, but I I think in order to get the plaque, you actually have to ask them for one. And then oh. I don't know what the process is, and I just, I never did. Uh, retailers, uh, which retailers would carry soft covers? We usually work with uh, stewarding books in California. Um, in the EU, we work with Pulp Comics. So he handles all the distribution for uh, EU and, and over there. Um, and then I actually have a call with Diamond uh, tomorrow. So uh, we generally have been staying away from Diamond and those bigger re uh, distributors because they take a large portion. And at least my business model has been going direct to fans for the last few years. Yeah. But, it, it, so this will be the first time really going through a distributor. Yeah. 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 We also do everything grassroots by ourselves. It's funny. Uh, before 
YouTube, I'd never done this. Like everything has always just been direct market, you know? So it's, it's, uh, I never expected to be a um, Kickstarter artist. Um, I, I think so many of us didn't. It's just become such a great way to, you know, really connect with uh, your your um, uh, most dedicated audience. You know, and it's a way for for younger artists. It is so difficult to get into Marvel or DC. The fact is that you actually have to be better than than what they have because they already have somebody that's really good and can meet a deadline and they can talk to on the phone and they know he's not going to, you know, make their life miserable. So you have a, not only to be able to prove that you're really good, but you also have to prove that you're a professional that they can count on. Uh, and that's tough. So uh, doing a Kickstarter and getting your work out that way and building a fan base, that's a, another really great way to do it. Uh, and you know, there are artists that have just built a whole career on that. And, um, what I'm looking forward to, Jason, is when we start to see uh, some video games and some movies and things like that from some people that have uh, only really just done crowdfunding for their projects. And I'm sure it's inevitable. There's, I think there's been a few that have mm -hmm. kickstarted that. Um, I don't know if it's anything you know popular because it seems all those you know main mainstream ones need millions and millions of dollars to get made, but. Well, what I mean is, I don't know that studios are really looking at, you know, Kickstarter kinds of projects and saying, hey, this is something we'd like to, you know, um, option and and make into a, a series. Oh, uh, 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 and I don't know what the, you know, if you need the legitimacy of, of it being in the, the market or whatever their thing is. But I, I think what's going to happen is somebody's project is just going to take off uh, and will become huge from a Kickstarter. And when that happens, the floodgates will open, I think. I hope so. Ryan has another super chat. <clears throat> Can you draw Godzilla, Rodan, Ghidorah, Ghost Rider with on the bike? Have you done Ghost Rider in the live stream? Can't recall. I did. Okay, so it, what, what it was Ghost Rider? <clears throat> Godzilla. I don't know who Rodan is. Ghidorah. Did I also hear on a bike? On a bike. Yeah, with or with slash on on the bike. I don't think you dream on a bike, did you? I can't remember. No, not on the bike. Not that I saw. It was a bunch of chains. I remember that. Yeah. There's a money next season one for sure. As much as I'd like to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would have been a twofer for sure. Uh, more than a twofer. That yeah. would have been an all nighter. We would have been here until all you guys are seriously ready for me to stop. And then So Lazy has a super chat. Uh, so glad I stumbled upon the art book and now your YouTube channel. You illustrated my favorite Moonlight run. Can't wait for the new art book. Uh, thank you so much. I still can't believe just how well it's done, you know, uh, at least just from day one. And really, this has been largely you guys. Day one was 100% you guys. We launched it and um, we got massive numbers right out of the gate just while we were doing the stream. I, I couldn't believe it. And all of those numbers came, you know, from you guys watching and like, don't even know what to say. Uh, look, I I love doing the channel. Um, I'd be doing it anyway. It's it's really not about the money. It really isn't. But at the same time, I mean, it's a business, and I I, I always feel conflicted because I, I hate to talk about it like a business. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't want to. But at the same time, like you know, I'm a working artist, and and uh, when something does this well, it's it's just it's it's so good for for me and my family and. Uh, it's food on the table. Let you do it on the project. table, and it really is very, very much appreciated. Uh, and it, it, about, uh, sorry, a, a, a digital download of the book. Um, unfortunately, we're not allowed to do that uh, with our license. Uh, we're not allowed to do any digital downloads or, or PDFs, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Marvel. I mean, they've been great, you know, to work with, but they definitely have uh, standards that they like to uh, stick to, you know. For how, and I'm sure they've had a, a lot of experience working with uh, outside publishers where they've, like a lot of those rules, I'm sure they came from, it's like any rule, right? They don't come from nowhere. They come from something bad happened and they went, okay, wait, wait we can't do that. So it's also, it's harder to, I guess, keep a, I don't know, it's called a leash, but once you send a PDF out, then it just goes everywhere, you know? So they don't want their content being distributed for free, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Um, but they've been very accommodating. Even with the Spider-Man painting, they gave us the green light pretty, you know, pretty quickly. 
Yeah, I was very afraid that that we wouldn't be able to do that cover at all, just because we really threw that at Marvel like last minute. They really had very little time to uh, make a decision on it, and they turned it around really quickly, which you know they didn't have to do. I mean, this is this is kind of over Christmas and over everybody's holiday, um, and they really came through. So they've always been so good. Yeah, they've, they've been bending over backwards <clears throat> for me uh, and well for everybody really, which has been great. Yeah. Uh, someone asked if we're going to be at MegaCon. Uh, unfortunately, uh, David and Eric will be at, not unfortunately, but they'll be in Orlando the week before at OAX uh, in Orlando. Uh, however, a few of the essential sequential guys will be at MegaCon the, the next week, uh, including Arthur Adams, Joyce Chin, Jeff Loeb, Klaus Jansen, and Cully Hamner. It's a great, great list. And Joyce Chen, who I I saw last year, I think quickly, but I haven't seen lately. So it'd be nice to see um, her there. She'll she'll be they'll be with us at uh, Lake Como again as well. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll get a lot of time to catch up. She's uh, she's closer to Meredith, really, and actually as a favor to Meredith. So I went to Singapore. This is probably six years ago now, and her and Arthur basically took me under their wing and entertained me the whole time. Took me to you know meals and, and the whole thing, uh, just because Meredith said, "Look, you know, Dave will never re- leave his room. He'll he'll just." he'll ignore everybody and, and just sit there and i don't want him to you know spend his whole time miserable so you know could you uh just you know whatever anyway they were they were so nice great so and that was all for merida oh we definitely need to twist your arm to come out at night that's for sure yeah yeah i'm not the biggest partier in the world well just dinner I'm, i don't i like to be in bed by like 10 or 11 so you know just get a meal and then go back and, and crash you know, I, it's funny. I, I think I've been with Meredith for a long time. You forget how long it's been, though, because when I met her, the first convention she went to, she wanted to go to bed. So she went to bed. And I said, I'm just going to go down and, you know, hang out with some of the guys a little bit at the bar, like the hotel bar. I came up at like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, drunk, which I never do anymore. Um, and like stumbling around and I was an absolute wreck. And she said, never again. <laughs> So that was the end of that. Yeah. Well, Brooklyn, beyond. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, but, uh, Brooklyn, my daughter, is totally bummed that Meredith's not going to OAX. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She bonded yeah. She bonded with Meredith so fast. Yeah. Eric uh, and his family came by in the summer. I'm sure you guys remember this, a lot of you guys. Um, and he, yeah, so, so you brought your family. I just said that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, they hung out with the horses a whole bunch. Brooklyn did. She loved that. Uh, she got to ride the horses a little bit. And um, yeah, she and Meredith really got along. Meredith never had a daughter, you know? So uh, you're lucky you managed to take Brooklyn back with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was uh, all tears when leaving. I can tell you, Meredith, that she's holding out for a granddaughter. If not, Brooklyn might still be at risk. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, some people are asking about different conventions. Uh, San Diego, I think, right, Dave, you wanted to come to San Diego this year? Yes, I'll be in San Diego. That's the only other convention that I actually have confirmed. And I know, so Jason has sent me a list of conventions, and I saw that, by the way. I saw the email. Oh, great. I was going to bug you about that. Yes, and I haven't looked at it. I need to look at it and, and confirm, because we're really kind of getting into that season. So uh, I'm going to be figuring out where I'll be this year um, over the next week. Um, yeah, so so far it's uh, what San Diego, OAX, New York is always a perennial, right? Uh, yeah, I'm always in New York. Um, New York is one of the few conventions that I go to where I'm going to sound negative right now. You know what? Look, I'm a homebody. I got to be honest here. There are times I go to conventions, and everybody's great. It really is, but I'm thinking, oh, I just want to be at home. Like I got so much work to do. New York, uh, it's it's always a pleasure to go i mean it's an experience if you haven't been to new york at some point in your life it's worth going just to just to feel it i mean if you're from a huge city there are huge cities all around the world that i'm sure are similar enough now but uh for me small town canada it was the first time i went uh, i thought i was gonna fall over dead all right so the first one is basically done 
So I'm still waiting for an email from Robert Tweedy. Robert Tweedy, if you're still watching, uh, you won the Batman print, uh, definitely send me an email. My email's in the pinned message at the top of the chat. Carbon Dioxide has a $2 super chat. Thank you very much. He says, Bet Dave still draws good drunk on the hooch. <laughs> well, thank you. You know what? I've never really drawn drunk. I, I just don't drink much. And uh, um, yeah, I, I don't draw drunk. It's not, not as bad as driving drunk, I'm sure. But I wonder if the news lamp will blow your picture up a bit more for everyone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. We can just do another book of your, uh, you know, little plates here. Well, we've got the, the first sketch ready to go. So let's auction this one. And then when we're um, halfway through the next one, let's say it's 8.05. We're running out of time here, too, for the Kickstarter. So Yeah, for, for, uh, for you to be eligible to win, just be active in the chat, everyone. It's your uh, time to legally spam. Um, whoever's act active in the last five minutes is into, entered to win this, and we'll we'll roll it here in a bit. Yeah, Russ won't ban you. And by the way, I didn't mention Russ earlier on. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Russ, for being here this whole time and really for keeping our, our chat running and uh, keeping you guys all informed and you know making it all possible. Edward Lee says, how much is shipping? We're not charging you guys for shipping. And I'm going to tell you right now how, how it's working. If it's uh, in the U.S., um, Jason's covering shipping if it's if it's in Canada or if it's anywhere else in the world I'm covering because it's for the it's for the YouTube channel and it's my channel and this is really for you guys and it's a celebration also of our um, uh, 450k you know kind of milestone so yeah uh, so wherever you are in the world we'll get it to you we just need every one of the subscribers to send one dollar to Jason at <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, 160 eligible. I'm just gonna wait until it gets to about 180 or so, and then uh, that's normally right. where we sit at a giveaway. Um, Almost there. So, how much longer on the Kickstarter? 22 minutes. So, anyone is wanting to back, it's just the last chance. Uh, I know Russ has been pasting in the chat as well the link to the campaign. It's also in the pin chat. So, uh, if you want to back, uh, now, now now's your chance. All right, let's go ahead and roll this one and see who won. Louis Womble. Congratulations, Louis. Where's it Louis? I think it's Louis. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> is it loud on your end or is it just? It's, it's uh, pretty loud. Yeah, it's is up it? there. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. It, once we're done with, uh, with OAX, uh, Eric and I, we really need to sit down and I've got a few things I need to work on. Like my, I, I've got an overhead light. So my desk is actually darker here than it was. It just, it shorted on me. I turn it on, it comes on, it immediately shuts off. I need to get that sort of, so many things. You do this it's for a little while and it's, it adjusts. It is a little better. Like you see that shadow from my hand yeah. when all three lights are on, I don't get those shadows. Mm -hmm. So I need to get it sorted out. <clears throat> JDSET says 21 minutes to go for the Kickstarter. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Next sketch. What do you think, Eric? Um... All right. First person in the chat with a, uh, a guess for a sketch that isn't a Smurf or something crazy. <laughs> smurf, smurf, smurf. You almost have uh, a Smurfette. Yeah, is smurf Wolverine, it. so Wolverine it is. Uh, All right. Oh, man. We almost had Smurf. Mm. Yeah. SDA was quick on the draw. All right. Smurf, Smurf Wolverine. That's a good one. Making of Man says Smurf Wolverine. There we go. Um, although in the, the convention list of uh, potential uh, shows, there is an Oklahoma one. There's a few new Galaxy shows that are happening around the country that have invited us. So hopefully we'll, we'll go to some new spots. Um, have you been to Oklahoma? I've never been to Oklahoma uh, ever. Um, yeah, it's nice. I've been. It's great. It, yeah. Um, another gent asked if we're going to be back at Terrificon. Terrificon was pretty good, right? You had a good time there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, okay. The convention itself is is great. Um, it's really really well run. Uh, they know what they're doing. It, it's a big big show. Like they've grown so much, which you know, and that's always 
you can tell a good show because every year they're a little bit bigger because people go they have a great time and they come back and it's uh at the uh, mohican sun casino i'm not a gambler but uh i like a good restaurant and there are tons there so i enjoyed it i enjoy gambling so uh, that's right up my alley <clears throat> yeah so if you gamble what do you what do you play uh craps my, my, my father taught me how to play craps uh, so apparently uh i don't say it's an addiction because that would be bad but uh, <laughs> when we go there we, we we like to spend a little time and uh and all the dice yeah that's about it do you wear a, a tuxedo no uh i'm always in comfort clothes nowadays as i get older i uh i wear croc uh chewbacca crocs and sweats do you use, at least have those big, huge rectangular chips? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, no, like the James Bond ones. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I ever uh, qualified for that much. Uh, those are like hundred thousand dollar ones. That is that what that is? is? From um, what was that last movie? Uh, that, uh, Casino I'm Royale. thinking of Casino Royale. Yeah. yeah. I say I figured that was just a uh, like a cooler chip. I didn't realize it was a denomination. I think those are big, like half a million dollar, like something yeah. crazy. Yeah. I wish, but no. Yeah, don't we all? Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's all just be millionaires. That would be that'd be good. Why um, haven't we done that yet? I don't know. I need what to work on that. Yeah, we'll have to work on that. Eric, Eric <laughs> and Hook us up. Mr. Wumble, yes, you did win. What's nice about Nightbot is I can see if the winner responded. And uh, yes, you did win. Uh, you won the Hulk sketch. So uh, definitely send me an email. I still haven't heard anything from Robert Tweedy. So... If you're watching, please uh, please reach out to me. Well, we'll give Robert until, and if you're here, Robert, we're going to give you until uh, the end of the stream. Nick Rucci is here. Hey, Nick. It's so awesome to see David Landon, 450, 450,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, Nick, and thank you for coming by. Great Nick, will, Nick, will you be at OAX next week? I know Nick's, Nick's very active on the Comic Art Fans uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to send them. Uh, I've been going through some Klaus art, and there's some John Jr. splashes from the old uh, Punisher series that I know he likes. Uh, it'll be, it'll be, yeah, it'll be, oh, he will. It'll be, he will be there. It'll be great to meet him in person. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. And you guys all know Nick Perucci. He is mm -hmm. the. Yeah, he's been on the stream as well. What's that? He was on the stream with the uh, um, red, the red Sonya cover you did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did the Red, uh, Red Sonia cover for him. Was there another time? I'm not quite sure. I know for sure it was it was that campaign. But yeah, the uh, owner and CEO of Dynamite Entertainment and a huge supporter of the channel and all of you guys. So, um, you know, did, did Nick uh, support the Kickstarter? I didn't see his name on there. Uh, I'm sure you're you're not going to look now, are you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rick L. Static Art has a two dollars super chat. It says, "Hey guys, at work! Congratulations on four hundred fifty k. Thank you so much. Have fun at work. Hopefully it's going well." Chris we'll Solet asked if he was a process. Process. Oh dear, David is a process or process? Good grief. Anyway, no, he wasn't. He was. Um, Nick Nick came on for the Red Sonia cover campaign. Uh, yeah, at some point it'd be nice to to do something again with with Nick. Yeah. Sure we will soon. Actually, I was I was bugging him um, about doing a Thundercats uh, oh, for for San Diego. That would be great. Yeah, Thundercats is great. Meredith would be thrilled. She loves Thundercats. She's not a huge fan of a lot of like '80s cartoons. You know, uh, part of it is she grew up in Canada. So did I. But she she grew up in like real Canada. I grew up. In Windsor, right across the border. So all of my TV was American. Well, she had wasn't full, wasn't Filmation Canadian. I think we're talking before that, but I don't know, so don't quote me. But hmm. yeah, she didn't watch a lot of American stuff. Like she watched Little as Hope. Uh, I was American. That was my favorite. Thundercats. Uh, growing up was that and GI Joe, coming in uh, after school. Uh, yeah. Yep. I remember the GI Joe movie, the first one. I had a sleepover at my friend's place and we all watched it and it was like jaw dropping. I couldn't believe it. Like how could something be that awesome? And when Transformers came out, He-Man, yeah. I had all the He-Man toys. As a matter of fact, at the comic store, they have He-Man's cat. Remember his name? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a... Uh, um, I'm going to kick myself. A big green cat. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Cringer when it's not the... Cringer. That's right. Yeah, but what is he when he's transformed? Um, Battle Cat, isn't it? Battle Cat. That's, That's right. right. Cringer, yes. Says... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to draw cringer. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I was really tempted to buy it, and I thought, oh, I, I can't do it. <laughs> Mondo made some nice uh, He-Man figures, um, I think, last year. Beautiful. Beautifully done. You know who my favorite character was? Who's that? He was... Orko? Uh, Orko? <laughs> many faces. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I never got him. And the, the problem is He-Man came out for me kind of right at the end of my toy. I would have bought toys so much longer, but all of my friends were much more into sports. Um, and I was starting to get teased a lot. She guys <laughs> can relate. So that kind of ended it for me. Like my son, Isaac, he's he's still buying. Like he just bought a giant robot. Not giant. Iron Giant? Uh, Iron Giant, thank you. Yes, he just bought the toy for that. And, you know, he's 15 years old and he does not care. And I would have done the same, but I got... Bullied out, not really bullied, but uh, I got my Iron Giant's uh, hanging up in my uh, my corner. I don't know if you can see it up there from Mondo. He's up in the corner. So, I would have to ask Meredith who her favorite character is. I just saw that one that from from Joseph Orca. Yeah, I, I'd have to ask her. She's upstairs sleeping as we speak. What time is it? Eight. Yeah, she's sleeping. All right, let's um, catch up on super chats. Uh, carbon dioxide. Bet Dave still draws. Like good gun. Oh wait, we already covered that one. Sorry. Uh, Greg L. Static Art. Did we hit Greg L? Hey guys, at work. Congrats on 450k. Good to see. Yeah, you. way ahead of you. I got that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ambrose. Did we? Hey Dave, hope you're well. Congrats on all the success. Thanks for being such a positive role model in the art and comic industry. It's motivating as hell. Uh, thank you very very much. Thank you. Um, Lewis Alexander was asking about a Kickstarter message. Uh, to help build a better product. It is legit. It's from uh, BackerKit. So feel free to uh, spend a minute, if you don't mind, because <clears throat> we'll be collecting everyone's uh, information after the project is done. And you'll also be able to purchase some additional products uh, from David and ES uh, once everything's uh, said and done uh, that isn't on the Kickstarter. Officially 12 minutes to go on the Kickstarter, so hopefully we can get some more folks uh, backing. Uh, Alec Obert, heaven. it's good to see him here again. Uh, he says, hi, Dave and Eric, been a while. David reviewed my portfolio years ago with Robert uh, Marzullo and asked if I had a shot. And he kindly said yes. In October, I left my art director job in games to pursue comics full-time. Thank you and congrats. That's awesome. That is great. Well, I hope it's going well. Um it sounds like it is and you know um it, it is hard to break into comics uh, uh, so many of you guys really know that that said um it can be very very easy it, it's it, like eric has actually been finding this so eric struggled for a little while uh he, he was doing commissions and just getting commissions lined up that don't fall through and you know when people aren't really familiar with you it, it's hard and it, it feels like you're pushing a rock uphill and it's thankless and um it's not fun once uh, eric started getting his stuff out there enough he started getting known uh he's having to turn down commissions um quite a bit now actually he had to cut the list off for oax um very very early so uh and that's where you want to be you know and it it doesn't take long to get there it feels like it's never going to happen and then when it starts you're like oh wow you know slow down <laughs> it's more than i've been getting some uh some interesting requests uh, or oh what's that have you been getting some interesting requests for commissions? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a gentleman who wanted a um, uh, a panel re recreation done, but kind of like a realistic painting. So that that one, that one was in, in, interesting. It was a nice challenge uh, trying to take something black and white and you know turn it into a realistic painting. Was uh, can we see some of them? Um, yeah, have you finished any? Yeah, give me one second. I'm wearing Ninja Turtle pajamas, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> switch the camera off. <laughs> what would you want to do, David, as a uh, Thundercats cover, if uh, if if you have time? I'd want to do a group shot if I had 
yeah. you know, if I could, just because. What if I only got to do one? You know what I mean? So I'd want to really be able to get them all in. If I had no. to pick. Who's, I mean. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I'd say Lionel. Yeah. I know it's the obvious choice, but I don't care. I'd say Lionel. I had a, I had a crush on uh, Chitara, but I guess everybody did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is the panel. Wait, Okay. And before you go, I missed a super chat, I'm pretty sure. And it is from the Ghost of Speedy for $2. Thank you so much. And he says, thoughts on EVS? Uh, look, uh, as far as any kind of politics go in in um, any of this stuff, I just stay away from that. And the reason I do is we're here to talk about art and, you know, the hobby and, and what we love about it. I, I just don't have any position on any of that stuff. And I know that's kind of where that's coming from. In terms of uh, Ethan, personally, I've known him for years and years and years, and uh, you know, he's been a good friend. So I mean, you know, I uh, I leave that out of it. And really, when I, I talk to uh, people just in general, I just I leave that out. I, I feel like I could have opinions on any on a lot of things, I'm sure, but I really don't know. And I just I'd rather focus on the things that we have in common. So I, I understand where you're coming from with that question. But yeah, um, we're gonna but, piss fifty percent of the people off one way or the other. So yeah, so they just don't want to do that, you know. Um, so uh, our Alan Thompson uh, Thornton, I'm so <laughs> sorry, Alan, uh, has a twenty dollars super chat, and thank you very much. He says, "Just uh, thanks for all the tutorials and pointers for those of us who strive to excel at art." Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and we have Jimmy Ray is here. All right, uh, hold on. Okay. So, right, so this is the this is the Michael Golden Rogue panel recreation. Uh, oh, it's cool. It's kind of hard to see. Came out great. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough one because it's such a different kind of head, and it's very yeah, true to the a, original. There was a challenge taking you know I'm not familiar with those kind of proportions, and then having to light and light it and color it. Yes. And then um, the other one was. There's others that I'm working on, which I can't show just yet, but this was the Spider-Man versus Gambit on Bourbon Street, so. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Are you using um, acrylics? Uh, yeah, acrylic. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, it's a lot of glare, but. Yeah. And then I've uh, got about three more that I need to finish before <laughs> before we leave next week, so it's gonna be a busy, busy weekend, but. Awesome. Three more. Yeah, you're definitely, <laughs> you're under the gun. I don't know how to fix it now that I'm sold at it, Eric. Uh, let's see. This one here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I tried it earlier, and it, the button that I would normally hit just wasn't doing it for whatever reason. <clears throat> well, we're almost at 186 with six minutes left. <clears throat> Who are these two guts? Oh. Oh, that means... Gut is the appropriate word. Well, yeah, I've got a big gut, that's for sure. But... <laughs> There's so, two of them. Um, the prelims are, I think most of them are 11 by 17 or eight and a half by 11. And it's a variety of publishers, uh, Marvel, Image. I don't know if, there, I think there's a few DC ones in there. I'd have, I'll have to check. Uh, the 200K stretch goal was an additional, I don't know, four or eight pages, something like that. So we're going to increase the page count. So we've increased the page count twice, I think, right? Well, the first, we have one, and I asked uh, the designer to to design another eight pages if we hit two hundred. Okay. Because um, we just have to submit that to Marvel for the last, uh, you know, sign off. But we're going to wait till everything ends. Actually, you know what? We should do another giveaway. Um, I'll be finished with this one pretty soon. So. Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, both winners did reach out to me, so we're good there. I just want to. Let them know that I received it because I've seen their messages. So, uh, yeah, I got your emails. 
And we have Tomacart here uh, for five dollars, and thank you very much. And he says, and it keeps scrolling up on me. Hold on. Uh, went back to studying your work, Dave. I can't believe it's four hundred and fifty k flockers already. Time flies, and can't see more of the grand work. I can't wait to see. I think you mean. I don't want to put words in your mouth. The grand work you will bring, Master. Well, really, thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. Um, I've said it so many times, but uh, Tomek just a couple years ago started really looking at a lot of of my stuff for uh, just you know basics, and, um, and then branched off onto so many different artists like Joe Mad. You can really see that in there, and a lot of different artists, and really has developed uh, his own uh, very, very. A uh, unique and very marketable style, and um, I don't think anybody would look at Tomek and say that I was even an influence. And that's really what you want. Like, ideally, well, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I've got my influences that I really wear on my sleeve, and then I have other influences that, for me, are like spiritual influences. I learn things from them, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean I draw like them. And I wouldn't want anybody that is uh, looking at the tutorials to feel like it, it needs to be drawn the way that I'm doing it. It's it's if you learn the foundation, you learn the techniques, you can take it in any direction you want. Sorry, go ahead, Eric. <laughs> Three minutes. Three minutes. Would any of the, I don't know how many uh, uh, people are watching now, but I had mentioned to Dave maybe doing a, <clears throat> a, a YouTube channel exclusive print or something. Yeah. Okay. So we have talked about this and this is where I, I'm always a little bit torn. I think, yeah, it's great. At the same time, I always worry that it's me trying to just, you know, push stuff on you guys. You know what I mean? I don't want to make it about that. And so I've always been a little bit torn at the same time, uh, being able to do stuff that's exclusive to the channel and to the community, I think is nice. So yeah, we have over 500 folks watching. That's great. You know what I'd really like to do, Jason? Tell me. My dream is to uh, very soon be able to start working on a Blight comic. Oh, and, yeah? Okay. And uh, I think I could do it. And really, because of you guys uh, watching, I think it's possible. I could do it kind of the way that we did this, like a, you know, Kickstarter. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to... Um, do you have a story in mind? Uh, no, I'm not a writer. I need a writer. I mean, I could do it without a writer. It would just be people fighting, which might, you know, <laughs> uh, some appeal, I guess. You know, it's just I a would... kumite every night. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the <one of> the week. <laughs> Let's see. I think there's a minute left. Yep. Now's your chance to back, folks. Uh... 117 seconds. Yep. We're almost at 186. There will be some stuff uh, afterwards that we'll send out via surveys. So you'll have uh, some additional chances to get uh, some books, some other prints, some prints from some other creators that we work with, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, that's the, the nice thing about you working with so many incredible artists is uh, it, it, there is the opportunity to be able to, you know, package my stuff with uh, some of the great artists that you have, which it's nice oh, to, yeah. be able to do that. No, it's amazing. I, I, I mean... I like to make stuff that I want to hang on my wall. So I try to um, find cool stuff to, to offer up to the fans. How are we on time? Is 60, it done? 60 seconds left. 60 seconds. All right. It's 1630 backers. So this, this is by far been our best um, Kickstarter to date. And we've been doing this for about 15 years or so. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so much more than I ever uh, expected or, or hoped for, or, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it's going to be, I was talking to, talking to Tori, my assistant today, and she at lunch, she's like, do we have to, to fulfill all these orders? I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> so. Uh, well, yeah. what would be the alternative? Well, there's a third-party logistics that we can hire. Oh, so. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, well, that's always the, the the choice, right? Like you do it yourself, and it's a huge amount of work, and it's it's a, an undertaking. You hire somebody, and that's great, but then obviously, it, you know, your number that you need to hit to reach the same point is very different. That's true. I enjoy doing it. It's it's a bit cathartic. Uh, so hey, congratulations. So that's it. That's it. It's we done. we finished. Uh, once I get the check, I'm going to head to Vegas and see if we can double it. <laughs> Very nice. Congrats, Dave, Jason. Thank you. Trying to find you know, I'm just going to hit the applause button. It's the only one I know that works. TJ, JT Baca says, congratulations. It, it, it scrolled up. Great stuff. Uh, to a very successful Kickstarter campaign into the 450k. Thank you so much. JDSCT says funded. Yeah, we yeah we had fun. Well, we had funding with you guys in minutes. I mean, it was crazy. Three eyebrows is yours. It's great. <laughs> <clears throat> so Dennis Kelly's here. So many of you guys. Waiter Shush is here. It's great to see everybody here. I'm I'm losing. Oh, and okay. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of the chat. And I realize what's happening. You guys are all chatting because we're about to give this one away. Yeah. <laughs> so, and if you're not chatting, just throw something in there really quickly. It will enter you uh, to win this. And, you know, it, it, if you're just joining, don't worry. Uh, entering doesn't, you know, enter you for anything else. It just enters you to win this thing. We'll send it to you. Nobody's keeping your address and mailing you stuff. You know, well, we'll mail you this, but yeah. <laughs> we don't have a telemarketing organization here, so you don't have to worry. All right. And, uh, Nightbot will tell you as well if you've won. So yeah, definitely e email me as you as you are made aware, and uh, that piece will make its way to you. All right, eligible user is way up there. I'll give it a I'll give it a, few, a, a minute. And I'll roll it. I need to think of what to say now. Yeah, I know. Maybe Wait I should minute. roll it. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Okay. Jason Ledwig. That sounds familiar. Yay. Jason Ledwig, congrats. Congratulations. there for a second. We, we, I also have, I have a rim shot. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do one more. Um, yeah, and, I'm gonna print two. Yes, and so as soon as I start, let's let's uh, you know start getting ready to do the print and then uh yeah no so i need to figure out what i'm gonna do for this one and i saw a swamp thing and it's already swamp gone up so i can't see who wrote it i apologize but yeah pretty early on someone said swamp thing too and okay, i'm doing swamp one. thing i'm doing swamp thing because it's awesome nice it, you should know everybody that that means we'll be here for just a few minutes more than i was thinking <laughs> swamp thing's not the fastest in the world i don't care i love swamp thing well, we do have another giveaway, by the way. That's one more awesome. Time. Another print? Yeah. All That's right. Fun. Let's see. Uh, have everyone active in the chat, and we can give another print away. Oh, let's see the print. That's the same one as before. Another Catwoman. Oh, nice. Okay. Batman Catwoman from the very short-lived Batman Catwoman marriage. Did they actually marry? Not sure if they actually married, but they were going to get married and they got engaged there. And that's from the cover for that issue. So there you go. Um, and if you want to see some of the other goodies we're offering for uh, backer kit, once uh, we send everything out, you guys will have a chance to uh, to get a few of these canvases and a few of these other prints. There's a big Spidey 2099. Oh, wow. So this is a Rod Reese uh, cover. Cover. It's beautiful. And did a really good job. And then there's a few of these left that we're going to give away to some lucky fans, which is uh, X-Men 281 signed by Will uh, Protasio. So how, how do you win that one? Well, this is going to be uh, part of the backer kit. So you guys can purchase... Uh, I think there's four of these left and then a few on whoa, un whoa four. It's wonderful. So yeah, there's three of those left. Do you have any for sale at all? Like okay, look, what I'm saying is I, I don't wanna I wanna get one if I can. I, I know a guy, Dave. Okay. We'll get you. 
Okay. I uh, I actually have mine framed on my mantle. Because uh, when I made them for Wilson, I'm like, uh, you just need to make, see it's up there on my counter, on my uh, on my uh, shelf in the corner. Uh, that I needed one for myself. That was one of my favorite covers growing up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Jason, you want me to roll it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason Ledwig's asking my email. My email's in the pinned message at the top of the chat. You should see it there. And uh, I'm going to roll it. Here we go. Dylan Dietrich. Congrats. Congratulations, Dylan. Congratulations. Awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah, just make sure to send in your uh, information. Well, you, Eric, you're probably better to tell them. Yeah, yeah, just send me an email uh, on the pinned message, and I'll get that list together for Jason, and uh, he'll he'll send you what you want. If you... If you um... Also send me the email. I'll send tracking out when it goes out, probably on Monday or two today. Okay, good idea. And if there was a few, I guess, late backers, so it bumped up a little bit to over 186. Awesome. No kidding. Wow, that's amazing. Again, uh, we so long ago passed the point where I, I ever thought that it would go when we started. Um, so, you know, it, it, I mean, even that is a, is an absolute blessing and it's, you know, um, it's never a guarantee. So that was, that was great to see, but you know, everything since then has just been um, incredibly gratifying. And, you know, it, it, it um, well, you know, cocaine is expensive these days, uh, David. So we got a <laughs> family show. <laughs> I joke, I did. None of us do drugs. We don't, and we don't have a sense of humor around here. <laughs> At least I don't. Uh, I think there's some super chats need to catch up. I don't know if we've got a tag in my model works yet. Uh, weren't we just at 350k subs a minute ago? Congrats on 450K. Really appreciate your time and knowledge. Thank you so much for what you thought would only be a small channel. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I uh, could not have possibly imagined it would ever get here. I, I really did think, yeah, this will be, you know, uh, an outlet, like a creative outlet for me and a chance to, I really love teaching. Um, and I, I had a lot of people asking over the last, like several years before I started the channel back up, People kept mentioning the um, uh, Norman Workshop videos that I did. And I thought, you know, those really reached a lot of people. And it was a real surprise, you know. Um, and it was it was just nice to hear. And I thought, you know, I'd like to maybe try and get some more of that stuff. And I had some people asking. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I'll try and, you know, go back and do a little bit more. But I never in a million years would have expected it to be what it is. By the way... I saw that uh, Alex Sinclair is starting a YouTube channel. He said it on uh, oh, Instagram. Oh, wow. Great. Yeah. So, um, also, Jorge Molina. Oh, really? Yeah. And doesn't he have a uh, Patreon that he does? Yeah, he does. Um, it's great. Uh, he's got really good stuff on there, and I think he's going to start uh, putting uh, some content as well on YouTube, some instructional stuff. So We were fortunate enough to have Jorge on yeah. uh, as a guest. Several months ago, he was incredible, um, incredible, and he he does um, pencil, pen and ink, and and marker work that is unparalleled. So, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think it's a, a must follow channel. Uh, anything that he does, and he's he's very um, methodical and knowledgeable about what he does. There are some artists that I find uh, that are a little bit more um spiritual maybe yeah, it's not the right word but you know you just a lot of it i think just comes naturally and it's not a lot of um deep thought it just really kind of comes from like just a well of talent i guess you know uh mm -hmm. now uh jorge is incredibly talented but he's also very very knowledgeable uh, about what he does which is great because uh he can really teach you how to do it so and alex sinclair uh is jim lee's colorist in case you guys are unaware i'm sure most of you are 
uh, he's one of the biggest and most successful comic colorists of all time. And so for him to start a channel, I think it's going to be monstrous. I think it's going to be pretty amazing. I wish I had a link, and I apologize that I don't. I just saw that today, but I wanted to mention it. He's also done some stuff for the Proco Marvel course, I think, right? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Which is worse to draw Swamp Thing or Galactus? Galactus is worse than anyone. There's not even a remote number two. It's it's the worst. And I love Galactus, you know, but uh I personally I think the best Galactus is still Mobius. Oh yeah. But, I had a chance to buy a, a Galactus splash from him a few years ago at San Diego. And um I mean I couldn't afford it, but I should have like mortgaged my house if I if I had the chance. It was beautiful. Well, this is the thing about comic art that I'm I'm finally kind of realizing. Uh, you hang to, hang on to it for a few years, like uh, an artist like Mobius or um, uh, John Buscema, who I, I bought some uh, John Buscema art actually from you, I think, Jason. Yeah, actually, I, I pulled a few pieces for next week. Uh, wow, I was inked um, from Marvel Comics Presents One. That's uh, pretty sweet. That I yeah. Thought you might like. Every time I think, gee, you know, maybe I should sell it because, hey, we have horses to pay for. It, you know, <laughs> I think it's worth so much more than what I paid for just a few years ago and a few more years. Like original art, especially from, uh, you know, particular artists. The '80s, I think, is huge right now. That's that's probably the, the strongest part of the market, and that changes over time. But uh, the value of comic art is is just going through the roof. It's amazing. Um, so I'm hanging on. To my, my stuff well if you, if you enjoy it you should enjoy it so I, I was talking to somebody about going to visit um uh walt simonson's uh oh. um collection not his house it's yeah. uh he's got his you know he's never sold anything right. uh, he's got all of his original stuff I, I, there's some other artists i don't want to just say uh names that i heard are going because none of my business to be saying but um apparently some other artists are going to go and, and take a look and i really want to do it and i said that i would go and i'm very much hoping like i, I commit to this stuff and then it's time you know and i worry that i might not work but i really want to go just to see it i can't buy it oh, i couldn't anyway it's so much money but oh, no. it's, uh, amazing stuff i mean it's like going to ohio right to see the calvin and Hobbes collection at uh, the state university oh yeah has he ever sold anything no, it's, I mean, besides gifts here and there, that's why they're so expensive because yeah. you can't find them. But he donated his uh, his run to the university. Really? Yeah, so you can go and, you know, set up an appointment and go look at the, all the originals. Unbelievable. I didn't know that. Well, and that's in Ohio. I was just in Ohio this year, actually. Uh, we went to a quarter horse congress. I think we're going back next year. You can stop on. Yeah, well, I'd rather do that than <laughs> quarter horses. You know what a quarter horse is? I say I figured it'd be a smaller horse, right? Quarter size horse. Right. No, it's a horse that can run a quarter mile in it, like a you know, the fastest or whatever. Apparently, so quarter horse. I thought it was like a Trojan horse. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, well, all the horses seem to be Trojan horses. You buy yeah. one, next thing you know, you got ten of them. They're like rabbits. You got rabbits instead of horses. Like yeah. <clears throat> it's actually going pretty quick considering it's Swamp Thing. This is all going to be Shadow down here. Let's just start blocking that in. Nothing like Shadow. To meet where's, the, uh, where's the Frank Frazetta Museum? Is that in New Jersey? No, I think it's in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I would have said Pennsylvania. That would be great to go see. Is it currently open? Yeah. Okay. It's family run too, right? Pretty sure. Actually, I don't even know why I'm asking that. I, I watched a video where they were doing a tour of it. Uh, one of his daughters was was doing the. Yeah, I'd love to walk. go there. Check it yeah, out. Uh, East, East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Hmm. It's not too far from where we're at. Hmm. So I was at a San Diego convention. This would have, I want to say, 97, like who knows, but a long time ago. And Frank Rosetta was there. And uh, 
we were walking it was it was me and you know some other artists we were, were walking through to go somewhere what anyway um somebody said yeah frank Frazetti, he's right over at this booth here and and so we ran there as fast as we could which in san diego is not fast and unfortunately by the time we got there he was no longer there and i never got to meet him so dave here here near me there's the drew struzan gallery we need to check out oh yeah that would be a, lot of his, a lot of his originals on hitler there I did get to meet Drew Struzan. He did some shows just a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, apparently, he's not doing them again now. It, you know, it, uh, for whatever you know. Side I think he retired. Right? Yeah, yeah, he re he retired, and I don't know if he was going to come out of retirement or something. But yeah, he recently did uh, retire. Okay. But I got to meet him, so I'll always be able to say that, which is awesome. Okay, some more super chats. Uh, Black Tiger, would you be willing to have us help you with a story? <laughs> I can do like a one one <laughs> super chat per page or something. Yeah. Choose your own adventure. That could be interesting. <laughs> uh, JDSCT, congrats on the Kickstarter and hitting 450k. It's been a wild journey. Finchlock, best community on YouTube. Agreed. Uh, Thank you. Jim Klein, congratulations on another successful Kickstarter day. You deserve it. Thanks so much for creating this awesome art community. Oh, and you. then um, uh, Louis Womble, was it Louis? Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. I uh, love the art drawing tutorials. They help so much. Thank you very much. Well, I've got more coming. I, um, I already recorded uh, the next one. Uh, I did it when I recorded the last one, so it should be fairly soon. I wish I could say it'd be really soon, but I just I spent the last week doing Walking Dead covers, um, and I've got some other uh, stuff that I'm I'm working on right now. And then we've got the convention, so it, it's just so many things. But uh, as soon as I get back, beginning of next month, I'll be able to get the next uh, part two up. Part two is the hard part. Part one is the easy part. If you're not aware, the last video that I did was uh, how to get started drawing comics. Um, and to me, look, there are a lot of ways to start. I, I don't want to say that, you know, this is the only way to do it, but it's a way that I, uh, worked for me. And it's also kind of, you know, informed by the years of, of watching other people do it and learning since then. Um, and I think it's just an efficient method way to, method way to do it. <laughs> efficient method to do it. Uh, part two, I debated. There's a lot of Bridgman in it. And... I've found in my experience of trying to help artists, um, Bridgman tends to be the the place where I lose artists that aren't really going to follow through. Um, because it's a real job like, to copy a lot of Bridgman stuff and, and to really you know dedicate the time that it takes to, it's a big book, you know, uh, and people quit. But, you know, it's, it's better to know that it's not for you and you're going to quit then than, uh, you know, taking it further, getting a, getting a project and, and um, getting overwhelmed then, I guess. So, so I decided to leave it in there, even though I know it's, you know, I want it to be as efficient learning as possible, but there is a point where learning has to just get work intensive. It has to be repetitious and, you, you know, you have to really dig in. I mean, it's just unavoidable. And Bridgman is the first real experience of that, where you go from, you know, just sketching and, uh, keeping it loose and, and not worrying about a lot of things to starting to really focus on, on details and form. And it has to come sometime and this is when it hits and it gets tougher. So I'm looking forward to putting it out and I hope you guys like it. And then uh, Blaze T with a super chat. <clears throat> hey Dave, have you worked with traditional watercolor? Thoughts on combining it with a very graphic style like yours? And congrats, uh, your humility and generosity inspire me as much as you are. Well, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, I have thought about working with watercolor because there are artists that do it so beautifully. Um, the one that really comes to mind right now is Harry Nord, an artist that I really, really badly want to get him on the channel if I can get him. Uh, we talked about it. I, I think he can come on. Pretty sure, I think. But, you know, um, yeah, yeah, I think he's he's amazing. He does the, the most beautiful stuff. Like, if I was going to do watercolor, that's I want it to look like, you know, yeah the way he does it that and brian still freeze yes yeah, so now brian it's a totally different thing like he's he's got um yeah. his work is is just so so good and, and i mean it's 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 yeah i 
hard for me to really even describe. And, uh, you know, it, uh, I, I just can't picture doing that. But at the yeah. same time, we can't picture doing what Carrie does either. Like I've tried uh, watercolor. So if, if you're wondering why I don't do watercolor, it's because it's really, really hard. Re it's hard for a couple of reasons. Um, but the, the biggest one for me is, is I find going from light to, to dark. Like mm -hmm. I paint in the light and I slowly darken the paint as I go. Really yeah. difficult. I'm much better at starting with a mid and then going a little bit darker and bringing it up to light. That works. And I struggle so mightily if I don't do that. And I know it's a limitation that I need to get over. But that's why I don't do watercolor, at least right now. Yeah, the live stream we did with him was so much fun, but man, that was challenging. Yes, which is why uh, I'd really like to do it again. We, we talked about doing something, um, mm -hmm. uh, and we are going to again, actually. I know exactly what we're going to do. We need to actually you know, sit down and, and schedule that. This is the problem. I, uh, I have a few artists that I've talked to and, you know, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. And then um, the biggest problem is, you, you know what, the, Eric, mm -hmm. when Eric approaches somebody, everything goes smoothly. When I approach an artist to do something, I say, I really <laughs> would like you to come on. And then it ends up not happening because uh, I get busy. I forget. And next thing you know, you know, so. I'm trying to get you a few, a few good creators as well. Yeah, you know a couple, that's for sure. More oh, than a well. couple. You know a whole bunch. So a yeah. A few have agreed. So and well, we've talked about a, a few that I'm I'm really excited about. So and you know, the nice thing is that there there's just so much in, incredible talent over the industry, you know, from so many years ago, so much new talent coming in, like Nick Klein, who uh, mm -hmm. blows me away. Um it, there's just so much that we'll never run out of incredible artists. Uh, to be able to bring on and and you know introduce to you guys or yeah, i'm sure most of you would be familiar with their work but you know get to know them a little bit better and get to know some of their process and watch them work it's, it's a rewarding position to be in uh, just to, for eric and i to be able to see how they work and also to be able to um bring that to you guys so a few people are asking if class is still coming on yes um he was just under under, under the weather so uh, we'll probably have him i guess in february uh, once we're back from OAX, we'll uh, get something scheduled, and uh, Klaus is very excited to come on, and, and that'll be great. It'll be uh, awesome to have him on. So. Oh yeah, I I can't wait. Let's one we've been trying to um, arrange for a while, um, and I already have the thumbnail done, so that's nice. You wait to announce what that is. We have to tune in to to see it. To see what what your thumbnail is for uh, uh yeah you'll have to tune in i had it up actually uh mm -hmm. on the channel and then i had to take it down when when we had to cancel so i'll just take the same one and put it right back up it's um it's a batman by klaus with uh like a picture of him you know i'm not i'm not the greatest at thumbnails i'm sure you guys have noticed people seem to like them uh, do they though how can you tell? Well, they, they sold out pretty quick, and then pe more people are saying, hey, you got any more of those thumbnails? Uh, oh, I know. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking, about, <laughs> I'm talking about YouTube thumbnails. Dan Costelli has a $2 super chat. It says, you're all we need, guys. Thanks for being <laughs> here. Oh, well, thank you so much, Dan. Thank you. And you know what I would like to do? Uh, that is something that I kind of stopped doing is, is really sort of what I'm doing right now, just drawing uh, and talking to you guys, and especially, you know, having Meredith on, which... Uh, you know, she brings a, a whole different energy to the um, the stream, which you know we always miss. So I'd like to do that again. It's a matter of convincing her to to come back. So you guys know what you need to do: <laughs> go on Facebook and start yeah. driving <laughs> crazy. <laughs> She's got a horse thing coming up. She's got a horse clinic. Where uh, where is that? here like at our house oh so everyone just comes by and yep so uh i don't know how many a bunch of different horse people like are going to be coming from all over the place and uh they have all kinds of different horse exercises and horse stuff i don't really don't know what they're gonna do i do know that i'm going to be spending the day working on parking and you know <laughs> i'll be working so, so they're all bringing their horses to right to the, uh, yes well that'll be fine 
That's a lot of horse poop. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> it is. That is a lot of horse poop. I, I'm not in the horse poop cleanup business, though. So. Carbon dioxide has a $2 super chat. He says, the whole chat wants Kyle Hot's guest yes. section. Yeah, no kidding. Carbon yeah. and thank you, by the way, for the super chat. And thank yeah, Kyle Hotz, I can't believe we haven't had him on. Have I mentioned? I, I you know what I know I have mentioned, but it has been way too long. Uh Bridgman for me, I learned about from Kyle Hotz. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the way that I learned my anatomy is really from Kyle Hotz. He's the artist that really uh, my first convention that I brought samples to, he's the artist that sat me down and really took the time to help and said, you know, you need to just copy every picture in there, put the book down, copy it, like, copy every picture in the book, and then close the book and copy it again, which is impossible, obviously. You have to look, close it, and try and do it from memory, which is still tough. But you learn so much from that. That's how you really, really internalize things. We do that for our study streams quite a bit, too. Or we have. You know, we haven't done that lately. We need to do that again, Eric. We've done study streams, but we haven't done the how can we copy this without looking mm -hmm. to see how it comes out next time. But yes, I'd love to have Kyle, and, and not just because you know he's such a great influence for me, but he's such a great artist too. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty active on Instagram. I'll uh, maybe I should send a feeler out and see if he'll. Uh, yes, well, it. and with you talking to him, <laughs> it'll actually work out. <laughs> I talked to Bart Sears, who I desperately would like to come on. Mm -hmm. And he agreed, and he said, yeah, absolutely. And and um, so we emailed him, and we haven't heard back. I know it's because I have the wrong email. So now I need to go back into Instagram and, and message him again and get this sorted out. But um, one way or the other, if we have to go to his house and tie him to a chair, we're going to get him. <laughs> He's another massive influence for me. So, um, And I, I think just in terms of learning anatomy, uh, mm -hmm. I, unbeatable. Well, and in just in terms of being a great artist too, obviously. Uh, I'm always, you know, so many artists like the Cuberts, phenomenal artists. I'm a huge fan when I think of them, though. I just, I think of the massive impact that they had on my work. And that always kind of comes to my head first. And I, I feel like I'm doing them a disservice but just by saying, wow, they were a big influence. It's more than that. I mean, they're, they're incredible artists and with an incredible body of work. And just huge for me. So I'm almost done with this one, and I'm off the screen. Sorry, everybody. Uh, so if you want to do the, you know, run the thing. Sure. Let's go ahead and so, do that. Uh, everyone can get act active in the chat. And Dylan Dietrich, please email me as well. You you want a Batman print. So if you can hear this, email me. And for whoever wins this spawn piece, uh, e email me. My email is in the pin message at the top of the chat. Uh, to be eligible, just... Um, Go ahead and type in the chat. Any anyone who's been active in the last five minutes is eligible to win. So uh, everyone can get active in the chat. Or... You know what I don't know, Eric? Mm -hmm. Why I'm having to do this all myself? Do what? <laughs> Why aren't you doing stuff to give away? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Selfish. <laughs> that looks like my internet's going down. <laughs> Next time. Just joking. Just joking. We, oh, it's I'm entering a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> would you do it? Do you think you'd do it? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, Next time we'll have Eric do it too. See Jason Schechter entered to win. <laughs> I'll just see, my, see my chances. Yeah. So, well, you'll be one in 182 people. So let's see. If we can get get that number up a little bit, and then we'll roll it. Done. All right, here we go. Let's see. KY Ghost. Congratulations. Is, yeah. Is that a familiar name on here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Congrats. Well, congratulations uh, to everybody that won. We'll get your stuff out to you uh, as quickly as possible. I shouldn't say as quickly as possible. We'll get it out right away. If I say as quickly as possible, that could be a year. So let me just say, I'm going to go out tomorrow and I'm going to get these sent out. So these are the three sketches. We have some prints that we uh, we give away for this one too. So congratulations to the, you guys that, that want prints also. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jason, for coming on and, 
and doing this with us. Uh, oh, we yeah. don't have a Kickstarter, so I don't know if I'll be able to get you to come on now. You know, like this be... <laughs> I'm always, I always like to come on and hang out. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you All just right. tell me what you need, and uh, I'll be around. Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice to have you on. <clears throat> and Lewis, uh, Lewis Alexander says, "Always a bridesmaid." <laughs> uh, <laughs> next time, Lewis. Next time. And we'll have to do this again sooner. It's been a while. I stopped doing giveaways for just a little bit because uh, mailing stuff out myself. Um, it never happens. But now with, with Jason, we're, we're a whole lot more efficient. So we'll, we'll do this again sooner. Uh, Dylan Dietrich says, did I win something? Yes, you did. You won a Batman print. Uh, email me. My address is in the pinned message at the, at the top. So, uh, yeah, get that to me as soon as you can, Dylan. Jenny there... Stokes says, my work looks better when I work faster. Well, thank you. There really is a, um, there's a fine line. You know, I've found when I'm on deadlines, there are times I like my work more. But if you let go, that go too much, you really start to actually, things devolve quickly. I've done it. So uh, it's, it's always risky working too fast. All right. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say before we leave, um, uh, mentioning the, the polls for, for uh, exclusive like prints or something for the group. Or silk screen, you know, something nice that uh, the group might like. <clears throat> That's only available here, you know, through David's channel. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, is that something you guys would like? You know, uh, look at. And I think what I would do is is just draw something special only to sell here. Uh, well, we if can... you wanted to use like a Marvel one, we can do that. That's licensed. That we just do, uh, yeah. you know, through the Marvel license. Unless you want to do, you know, creator owned or something a little bit different, but. Okay, look, I Marvel, that would be great, but I also want to do Blight. <laughs> okay. I don't even care. Nobody likes Blight. I like Blight, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. I want to do Blight, too. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, hopefully, that's something you guys will like. We'll give it a try and, and see how it goes. And, again, um, thank you, everybody, uh, so much for your support over the years, uh, bringing this channel to 450,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support with our Kickstarter. This is our second one that we did uh, with the channel. They both worked out great. This one was, um, I think the last one we, we were at 80. This one is at 100 and almost 190. Uh, mm -hmm. Unbelievable. So much more than than any of us expected or hoped for. And um, we all it all, owe it all to you guys. So thank you again. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And we will see you guys um, soon. We don't have anything planned and we have a short week so we're gonna have to talk so we might be able to squeeze in a, a stream before um oax and maybe not i'm not sure but either yeah. way uh we'll see you guys all soon thank you again very very much have a great weekend awesome see you guys